G'day, just a quick video on 6R80, Ford 6R80 transmission. Just got the valve body here, I'm just going through it, reconditioning it. And I'll just make a quick video on how to test the solenoids. Now to calibrate it, we've got our vacuum hose completely off. And basically what that means is when this is at 5 inches of vacuum it's considered to be leaking and if I plug that with my finger you'll see that snaps up to 25 inches of vacuum. The way we calibrate is just with this bleed hole here or bleed valve. Now for as a reference point we've got Genuine Ford 6R80 solenoids, that one there. And what we do, we've got our little tester that we've made. Okay, we've got the solenoid in. hit the vacuum. Now that's without this part blocked and we've got 20 inches of vacuum and with it completely blocked off. There we go, you see that's snapping up to about 24 inches. So that's our reference point for our new one. Now we'll just test in these particular transmissions there are three of this variety. There's the first one there. That's snapping up to 20 inches of vacuum and plug it off. That's going to about 20... what's that? 23 and a half. So it's not a bad solenoid. Anything below about 18 inches of vacuum would be considered on the, on the uh, limit of it being no good. So that's that one. We'll test this one over here. Got 20 inches of vacuum. And that's about 23 and a half as well. So exactly the same as the other one. And the last one. Last one there. I'll just do this in the background. Got 20 inches of vacuum. And I'm going to just plug off that port. And that one's slightly better. It's about 24 inches of vacuum. So what does that tell us? That tells us that these are sealing properly. There are other tests what we need to do. The next test would be to, to warm the solenoid right up. Um, to operating temperature to get it to about 60 degrees, 60 to 70 degrees Celsius and then just test the resistance make sure it doesn't go open circuit and that the scale is going up nice and evenly. It just shows, what I wanted to show is that not all solenoids can be tested with pressure and amperage, sometimes you also have to test them using vacuum just to make sure that it's sealing properly. On the 6R80 solenoids, another thing, they, they have a what's called a, a flow number. If you have a look there, it's very hard to see because it's shiny here. And that one there, can't see it. There we go. You can just see next to that little square there, there's a, you can faintly see a number four. and that's the flow rating. You want to make sure you try and use the same one 
or as close to the same as you can or it'll knock out all the calibration on the valve body. That one's number four. This one here is what's that one? Number five. You can see that. Just won't focus. Anyway, you have to trust me on that one. That's number five. Right over here. And this one's number four as well. Three of the same solenoids, and they'll come with a number between one and five. So this one's number four, We've got number five, that one, and number four there. Try and get them the same, if you can. And we'll actually go through and test the other solenoids the same way. The only difference being, when you're testing a solenoid that is normally closed, we're vacuum testing them with no power applied to see if they're leaking. If it's a, a normally open solenoid, which these other ones are, you actually need to apply power to it so it actually closes so you can measure whether it's leaking or not. That's the only difference. And like I mentioned, warming them up would be the next test as well and just making sure that the resistance on them's not way out of scale. Testing them at room temperature uh, doesn't really help you much, especially with a transmission. It needs to operate at operating temperature, not at room temperature. Anyway, I hope that's a bit of information to confuse you a bit more. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Leave any questions in the section below or comments. And if, if any of this information helps, we don't mind a beer. Keeps us motivated. Thank you for watching.